friends, welcome to my new channel, Bless an OCC Obsessed, where it is my goal to share my love for Operation Christmas Child by encouraging and inspiring you to pack your own full, fun, and personal shoe boxes. What do I mean by full? Well, you put so many things in your box that you don't hear anything when you shake it. What do I mean by fun and personal? Let's take a look. Welcome back to box number four of a series of six boxes. This particular box is for a girl age five to nine. Uh, let's open up and get started. The first thing this little girl is going to see in her lid, I uh, decorated this young lady's lid with a print off of some cute little llamas. And I put a little message in the lid that says, Jesus loves you and we love you. Decorating your lids is a great way to personalize the box, make add a little extra element of fun and cheerfulness for the child. The wow item for this young lady is this sweet little llama that I found at Dollar General. It is all kinds of soft and squishy. I also included in here for her a, a llama coloring book. You, you kind of get a theme here. I, I uh, I typically uh, lean towards theme boxes. I can't help it. Uh, God le kind of leads me in the direction of a wow item and it takes on a whole new life of itself. And this particular box is llamas. Um, I found this uh, coloring book at Dollar Tree. I also included um, this fun little colorful backpack that I found at Dollar Tree. I made her a sweet little um, hair bow for her hair and a um, hair clip. I love to craft. Um, it adds an extra element of personalization to my boxes and um, it, it just brings me a lot of joy to do this for uh, my boxes. Um, for this little girl, I also added a bouncy ball. I like to include a ball in all of my shoe boxes and um, Old Navy is a great place to get fun um, bouncy balls for 25 cents. I included a pink jump rope, a couple of matchbox cars, a purple one and a pink one, a fun little stencil. I like to include jewelry and um, cross necklaces in all of my girl boxes. And I had some leftover um, Easter eggs that look like um, rainbows, and it's a great way to pack little gems like her googly eye ring, the cross necklace that I made from wooden cross um, and ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I also made her a fun little bracelet out of items that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. For this young lady, I also added a fun kaleidoscope. I found these in the dollar spot section at Target. We had some leftover um, Easter bags from um, an Easter clearance, and this is a great way to make tic-tac um, tic -tac games for children. Um, you can use all kinds of items to make the, the X's and O's. I included a water bottle that says no drama llama and in the water bottle um, I added some colored pencils, some colorful hair ribbons, there's a little whistle in there and some chapstick and a washcloth. I included a fun uh, multicolor pin. I included a um, puzzle towards the bottom of the box is, um, the, of this box is the box for the puzzles. I like to take the puzzles out of the box and lay them flat um, so then she can use the box to put her puzzles in again. To get more in the box, I packed um, her school supplies loosely. I've got a whole package of number two pencils and some uh, a pink scissors a uh, eraser, 
or not, I'm sorry, a pencil sharpener with um, some pencil top erasers that come inside the sharpener. You can find these at Dollar Tree. A big tooth comb that I found at Dollar Tree. A toothbrush with the carrier. You can find these um, as a pack at Dollar Tree. I found this fun little alpaca um, stationary kit at um, Dollar Tree. Yes, I know it's not a llama, but you know what? You can't tell me they don't look a little bit alike. I included a box of crayons, a purple notebook, a pink ruler. Here's her um, puzzle box for her puzzle. Found these at Dollar Tree. And here is her pencil pouch that I found at Dollar Tree that all these pencils and school supplies can go in. And the last thing I make sure I add in all of my boxes is a personal letter. Um, this letter has a picture of my family, tells the child a little bit about my family, and lets them know that not only do we love them and we're thinking about them, but so does Jesus. I sure hope that um, this shoebox unboxing has inspired you and given you um, some great ideas on how you too can go out and find some quality items at your local discount stores to pack a shoebox for a girl age five to nine. If you like what you see, please um, check out the other five videos in this series and like and subscribe and share with your friends.